I guess. I know it's uh, it a good relationship with Chris Paul through the draft process. Like your first chance to kind of see him go up against him. Like, what, what are your kind of feelings going into it to go up against a guy like that? Yeah, I'm excited to play. Um, one of the best point guards that ever played the game, so I'm excited to play against him, um, compete with him. I mean, he still has everything he been had. I mean, it, like he didn't age, so I'm excited to go against him. I know how much you like watch tape. Is there anything that surprised you going up against Curry at all just in the game? Was there anything that jumped out to you that maybe you didn't think about ahead of time or see on tape? Um, I mean, I didn't know he was as quick. Um, I knew he can handle the ball, but he's, he's pretty quick. And uh, he never stops running. So, I mean, but everyone knows that. So, yeah, I did an okay job on him. I mean, next time I just got to do better. What do you see when you're looking back at your guys' film? Um, I mean, towards the end, we kind of got sloppy. Um, we don't, uh, it's probably came for fatigue or, I mean, we don't know. We just kind of got sloppy. Um, stopped trusting one another. A little mental mistakes and, yeah, that's it. I mean, I wouldn't say that. I mean, we just stopped moving the ball a little bit. Um, we started to get a little ISO, ISO heavy. So, I mean, we're doing a better job at it. I mean, we had a good one in practice today, moving the ball. So we had a good one. How would you say you guys are kind of fitting into the rigors of the season? Are you done with a you know, long road trip kind of heading up before you guys? How are you guys ready for that challenge? Oh, say it again, I'm sorry. Just the, the rigors of the NBA season, are you guys the first road trip? How do you think these things are kind of coming together for you guys overall? I mean, I think we're. I mean, we're bonding together. I mean, we're we're having a good time playing with one another. Um, we're spending time with one another. So we're just gonna keep building the chemistry and to get better every day. This is your first official road trip. Just what are you what are you gonna do off the court to sort of kind of figure things out and get acclimated to this? Yeah, um, I think just watching more film for me, and then also I'm, I'm starting to. I had a partnership with Top Shot. Um, excited to see that. that Excited to see my debut moment. Fans get the chance to to pick that moment, so I'm excited for it. Yeah, the fans get to pick it. Uh, it's a, a couple of moments. I, I don't know which moments yet, but they get to pick it. Hope so. <laughs> um, only three games in. Is there do you, is there an increased sense of urgency, or, or um, are you guys just you know pretty, pretty even in your approach to, to no, we know we we know what we got to do to get better. Um, everyone knows, the coaches know, and, and we know that during down the stretch we got to play better um, because throughout the game you see we play really well, move the ball, and then towards the end of the game we kind of get fatigued and, like I said before, get ISO heavy and, and not moving the ball. So we know what we got to do. What do you attribute to some of the shooting struggles for some of the guys on this team right now? I mean, it happens. I mean, it's basketball. Um, people are going to miss shots. Um, I mean, we got 82 games. People are going to make shots. People are going to miss shots. We need. We don't need to worry about that. We just got to do on the defensive end. We can control that. We can't control makes or misses. I mean, you're not, you're not seeing anything that's kind of contributing to that. You just kind of chalk it up with an anomaly a little bit? Nah, not really. I mean, we just, like I said before, it's just a, a missed shot. Um, we're we're going to make those over time, and we're not worried about it. Two more guys. Um, he's known as probably the, the best leader in the NBA. How do you, how do you learn some of that stuff? Hmm, good question. I mean, I think for me, just talking to him, him giving me advice, um, telling me that, yeah, you're a rookie, but you can be a leader in your own way. I mean, he kind of told me that too. I mean, you're not going to go in and be the most vocal guy, but you can lead by example. So just talking to him and, and getting a few pointers from him will help. No surprise there in the finals for you? No, not at all. I mean, they got a really good team, a really good coach. Um, they got good players. They got good role players. Everyone knows their role, and they do a really good job playing with one another. Two more. Have you taken that advice, just finding your how you yeah, I mean, you see it on the floor, just leading by example, leading the pack on the defensive end. You see me out there up front in half court trying to guard my man. I mean, kind of trying to pick the energy up on the, on the defensive end because, you know, all the time it's not going to be like that. So I just try to lead by example there. All right, last question, guys. You said Top Shot's going to do it. It's going to be a fan vote. Do you know how that's going to work? I, I don't know how it's going to work yet. Um, I'm going to know more, more information about that later. But they did tell you that fans are going to get to pick your day.